you've got to be uh, coming back to Turkey. has got to bring back some some pretty good memories. Absolutely, yeah. I have uh, very special memories about for sure 2012 when I won. That was uh, a great moment for me personally. Also in my career was a uh, was a really nice win. Something that I can never do again. But um, yeah. It's always nice to nice to come back. This year, a little bit different. We have a lot of transfers. It's been uh, short stages, but long long transfers. So this year is a bit different, but here always the weather is good and uh, it's nice. Can you talk about the importance of that victory? I believe your first pro victory. Now you've, you've gone on since then, and of course stage wins the Giro d'Italia. But where does it rate? Where does it in the in the in your list of of successes in professional cycling? Where does it rate for you? I, I won before, but smaller races, and then um, I had a really difficult period between 2009 till till 11. It was a shitty part of my my career. Sorry for the words, but it was like that. And um, okay, I I ended that with with this win here. It wasn't pro tour back in the days, but. Uh, was a nice win, and especially the way I won was was spectacular. And uh, yeah, people still talk about it a lot, and it's uh, it's in everybody's uh, in everybody's mind. It's not only a good memory for me, but for a lot of people who saw it live on TV or afterwards. It's been a pretty big thing, also in YouTube. Well, you know, speaking of YouTube, I had a chance to, to sit down with uh, Carlton Kirby and Brian Smith of Eurosport yeah. and we, we watched it and we, we talked about the commentary and, and they talked about how it rated for them and their memory banks and of course it's a, it's a favorite call of theirs but for you when you look back and if you can kind of recall a bit those final six kilometers can you can you is it still fresh in your mind yeah. can you tell us about what was going through your head during that process to the finish? Uh, well we, we started in Kushadashi I remember that and we were in the breakaway after five or ten k's and I felt like I was one of the stronger guys in the breakaway so uh, in the end I had the intention of trying something but you never know if you stay in front or not uh, we had a small gap I think 50 50 seconds to the bunch and then I think the last seven k's I I went alone immediately took like 20 seconds which should be enough if you don't like uh, drop dead normally you can hold it and then uh, going into the last kilometer, I, I knew I was normally safe. They would, sure, they wouldn't catch me. Also, the bunch couldn't catch me anymore. So I was going for the win. And then, of course, you have the crash. Um, then it's, it's important to stay calm. Try to stay as calm as possible. Get back on the bike. The chain was off, so I had to, to uh, bring the chain back on. It all took a few seconds, but actually not not that long and then you start again but then you don't know how big is your advantage so it was just the last kilometer or 900 meters what was left what was what was left uh full full gas a little bit headwind there and uh, of course then you know they are coming and in the end i win but maybe with like 20 meters or something and like you said the commentary was incredible and they also made it more even more heroic heroic than it than it than it actually was so uh, yeah it's still still really nice to watch it to watch it again on youtube when's the last time you did watch it on youtube i watched it just uh two days ago when i when i arrived here but you know when the tour of turkey is coming on this is all, always something that comes back and like every year it's coming back it's sometimes on twitter or facebook wherever just out of the blue, it, it comes and then uh, people start retweeting it and liking it and brrr, for a few days the, the whole timeline is full of that and then it's gone again. So every year it happens. Are you proud to be associated with that moment? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think it's a really nice win and I'm really proud of that. Normally I work for the team, I don't win that much and uh, when I have the chance of winning like here or like, uh, like in the Giro, and you uh, you do it, then it's something yeah something really special. You mentioned it only taking a few seconds with the crash and getting the chain back on, but at the moment and remaining calm. But at the moment, did it feel like an eternity? And did you did you how close were you to panicking? Oh, the moment you panic, it's I think it's over because then I think you block. Also, you kind of get back on the bike and start full gas. So the, as long as you can stay calm, 
uh, some guys would throw their bike over the fence and then it's then it's all over but just keep fighting never give up and uh, yeah in the end you win. Real metaphor for life. Right? Yeah it is. Thank you so much. Pleasure.